Are you tired of your boring desktop? Then I have the solution for you. In this video, I will show you how to install a custom background, a new drop top menu, widgets and some other cool tweaks you can use to make your desktop look personal and professional. Now let's dive right into it. Let's start by cleaning up the desktop. For that, we are just going to select everything and remove it from the desktop. Don't worry, you can just search for the apps anyways. Now let's choose a wallpaper. I am using Wallpaper Engine, which is unfortunately $4, but you can also use the other engine like Lively Wallpaper. For this setup, I wanted to go with this rainy window look, so just look for raindrops drizzle in the wallpaper app of your choice. Look how much better the setup already looks. With that out of the way, we can install Rain Meter, which will run most of the custom skins we will install later. To install it, just simply run the file you downloaded and install it in the folder you want to store it. With Rainreader now installed, we can install the drop top application. Again, just run the file and you will get to the installation menu. Just install everything here. Now let's set up the drop top menu. First, you can choose your language. Now you can decide if you want to see the menu all the time, only when the cursor is on it, or only on the desktop. For me, I chose only on the desktop. Here, select the computer and type in the weather location you want. Now we can choose the logo and the size. For my setup, I chose the Windows logo and mini size. For the theme, you can choose between standard, color match, macOS and transparent. However, I would say the transparent look is the cleanest. Now the setup process should be finished. The drop top menu already looks great, but let's clean it up a bit. First go on the Windows logo, then on my folders and there on the logos you don't want to have on your menu. Now just untoggle the show on top bar switch. To remove the logos on the right side, right click them. Now you will have this menu where you can just hide the things you don't need. Just take a moment to appreciate the clean look of this skin. Now let's also customize the taskbar. To do that, we will install the translucent taskbar mod from the Microsoft Store. Just run the downloaded file and everything will be installed for you. If you haven't already, also put your taskbar items in the middle. Without the background, the taskbar looks way cleaner, right? With that finished, we can install the widgets. We will start with the Moon skin. Like before, run the file and you will automatically get to this setup page. This time, just close the setup, place the clock and player in the middle of your screen and remove the trash can by right-clicking the clock and then deselecting the recycle bin in the Moon option. After that, we will install the My Eye Power widget with the same process than before. This widget gives us the power to shut down or restart our PC. Before we are finished, let us also quickly install the Monterey skin. After the installation, you should get this setup screen. From here, we will install these three widgets. Let's arrange them like this. Now let us appreciate the finished result. Doesn't this look super professional and clean? Especially these widgets in the drop top menu are an eye catcher here. If you really insist on icons on your desktop, you could arrange them like this. I am a really big fan of how this setup turned out, and I hope that you could recreate this on your PC too. If you would like to see some other desktop setup ideas, comment them below and like and subscribe for more content like this.